We're live. Hi there, welcome back. I'm here with a... Uh, no. <laughs> All right, welcome back. I'm Scott Chenoweth and I'm here with Rob Lang, the founder of Indie Golf. And we're here at about 55 yards and you can see the red flag behind me. This is a shot that we get a lot of questions for the chat. So we thought we'd bring Rob out here and talk about his approach to this shot, what club he uses, why he uses it, and take us through the process. Yeah, well, this is a, where our clubs, our Indie clubs are designed to shine. So. Um, for me, I'm going to use a 60 degree FLX. We have a nice tight lie here, firm lie. So this is going to be the ideal sole grind for this. Um, and then, you know, what you want to do on this shot is you want to stay very steady and accelerate. Mm -hmm. So I tell everybody on this type of shot, you know, just take your kind of basic stance and put your weight on your left hand side. And then you want a nice short swing that you accelerate. And now that's how you're going to get spin on the ball. Okay. If you're accelerating and you're, you're making solid contact, the ball is going to spin. What a lot of higher handicap players or even better players that just aren't great wedge players, what they do is they get a little too long with the swing mm -hmm. and then they're decelerating into it, not making good contact, and they're delivering the club different every single time. So. Okay. Is there a trajectory that you're trying to hit? Like I've heard some tour players talk about windows that they're trying to hit it through. Is that something you're thinking about? Yeah. So, you know, that's the one thing I always kind of chuckle is people say, oh, I'm going to hit a high spinner. Well, high and spin don't necessarily go together on pitch shots, mm. right? So if you watch the tour players, if you watch better wedge players, the ball comes off a little bit lower and that's what gives it more spin. They're compressing the ball, the ball's getting into the grooves and it's maximizing that spin. So it's a little bit more of a lower boring trajectory, but it's going to hit the green and stop. Let's see it. All right. Oh, look at that. Watch this come back off the slope. <laughs> oh. So that's ideal. I took a little bit more divot there than I wanted to, but still the ball came off, you know, that had that lower trajectory. Yeah. Took a couple hops, stopped. I mean, I've got what, five, six feet there. So I'll take that shot every day. 